I cover launches as a freelance photographer. I've shot quite a few rockets since I started in the Atlas V, as well as the Delta IV and the Minotaur IV rocket. Bloomberg Business Week did license an image from me for use on their special space issue cover. On Instagram, I have a little over 40,000 followers. For me, having Elon Musk personally share an image of mine on his own Instagram was absurd. It's really indescribable. It's very, very cool. Oh, I'm gonna have to get a call. <laughs> Parents. Hey, what's up? I'm John Krause, I'm an 18-year-old photographer here on Florida's Space Coast, and I work as a photographer covering rocket launches as a member of the media. I feel like it's a viable career option, and that's why I've decided to go all in on it. Space Coast is the stretch of land where I live, and what people kind of refer to as where we launch most of our rockets from, from the United States. Lately, the launch cadence has grown exponentially almost in that we see launches two, three, four times a month. Creating images of them so regularly is great. Are you staying up for the launch? I am. Awesome. Very excited. Yep. Well, I got camera set up in a few hours. See ya. See you later. Love you. Love you too. Tomorrow night's launch is a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket launch of a commercial satellite called Telstar 18 Vantage. I have access with what I do to something that not a lot of people do. So I really want to show what the space program is doing. I want to share how great space is to the everyday person. We're on our way to Cape Canaveral Air Force Station to visit the launch pad and set up the remote cameras at the launch pad. So it should be pretty cool. So you can see this is pretty sturdy. No wind is going to knock this over. Just one stake gives you enough to, to keep the tripod secure. So my first experience with the photography came, I almost don't even wanna, cause okay, I'll tell you what I did. I did like stop motion stuff of like Legos when I was seven. And I, wouldn't, I would say I really got into photography when I actually bought my first DSLR when I was 15. And shortly thereafter is when I started covering rocket launches. Yeah, that looks good. There's no launch photographer handbook that they hand out at your first launch that lets you capture images perfectly. So a lot of it's trial and error. Telephoto camera's working. Wide camera's working, so good to go for launch. Let's do it. There's a large range of ages of people that cover these launches, and I'm very much on the younger side. I see them as peers, and I think I'm respected as a fellow peer, even though I'm younger. Good luck tonight, mate. Thanks, you as well. While I am setting cameras at the launch pad, I'm more focused on my off-site shot, which will be about 10, 12 miles north of the Cape. Um, I will be wading into the water, and uh, there could be gators, there could be snakes, but I'm um, just gonna have to suck it up. I want the shot. I really do. How deep are you going in the water? I'd say a foot, maybe a little more. All right. Yeah. Do you know what you gotta watch for? I do. You've Alligators me, uh, and water moccasins. Yeah. I brought a little tool just in case. What'd you bring? I brought a fillet knife about that long. I thought you were gonna say like a 45 or something. <laughs> <laughs> just be careful. Yeah. Oh, I am not confident. Woo! A little deep. Okay. I'm looking for gator eyes. As a photographer, what I like most about a rocket launch is that you only get one shot. Okay, that should do for now. It's a game of compromise. I'm gonna have to take what I can get here. Once that rocket's gone, your shot's gone. So there's a lot of planning that goes into it. There's a lot of technical side with photography, Seven, planning what you wanna six, capture. But really, five, once it happens, four, it happens. Three, two, one, zero. Ignition, lift off. There it is. There's a launch. Woo! Wow. Never gets old. How do you like that? Oh, wow. Full arc, baby. <laughs>